What's up guys, this is Josh back with another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you could actually add your very own advanced transitions inside of DaVinci Resolve. If you guys enjoy it, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Go check out my editing tutorials playlist on my channel for more videos like this. I hope you guys do enjoy though, and I will see you guys on my PC. All right guys, so I'm actually inside of DaVinci Resolve now. I'm gonna make a new project called, let's say transition guide new, something like that. Just absolutely whatever name you want. And I'm actually gonna go over to the edit tab right here go to file go to project settings and change the frame rate to 60 fps which is the industry standard nowadays all we need in order for me to display this transition thing to you is i'm just going to take two pieces of footage so for example i'm going to take this intro clip and this intro clip from two different youtube videos and i'm going to just kind of cut down portions where i'm not talking just so it doesn't get distracting so i'm gonna take this one and then i'm going to take this one right here and I'm just gonna drag them over just like this. So all we gotta do for this, just to do any transitions, we're actually going to get an adjustment clip and drag it over top the two separation points right here. And if you don't have this toolbox right here, you're just gonna need to enable your effects library just so you can see it. So come down to effects and drag an adjustment clip over top. And then you're just gonna go inside of fusion. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on anywhere in this gray space and we're gonna press control space on our keyboard and we're gonna look up transform just like this we're gonna pick this one and then what we'll do is we'll drag it and press shift on our keyboard at the same time to connect it to connect it to this point or what you can do is you can drag this y'all on here and then drag that one here and all we need to do is we need to put a marker down at the midpoint right here and then we're gonna need to put a marker one frame back from that so just make sure that you know where these two points are. So we're going to go back into the fusion tab at this middle point. And the first transition I'm going to show you is how to do a zoom transition. So what's needed for this is actually a size adjustment because it's zooming in, obviously, or zooming out. I'll show you how to do a zoom out after. So at the frame before the midpoint, it'll take us back to the first clip. What we're going to do is if we want to do a zoom, let's say, we'll have to change the value to something like 1.7. So this will be a zoom in. As we can see, it's zooming in right here. And then we're gonna need to go one frame forward. We're gonna do the inverse, which is about 0 0.4, I believe, or point. You can mess around with the uh, with the stuff. So I'll, I'll do 0.4 and see how it looks. And then we're gonna change this to mirror. And then what we're gonna do is we'll go like, let's say 20 frames after. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do 25. And we'll change this back to one. And then we'll do 20 frames before this. Uh, a shortcut to do this is you just read the number right here. So this is uh, 21,653. So we'll just come back to 33. And then we'll go back to 27 to make it 25 frames. And then we'll make this one one again. So the important thing is every time you're changing the value, you want to make sure you're pressing the keyframe button. Because if you don't, it'll actually change the values drastically. And you won't be actually adjusting anything. And there won't be any zoom motions. It will just keep your value at one number. So I think this is probably too zoomed out for what we're going for. So I'm gonna change it to 0.6. So we can see this, we can already kind of get an idea of the zoom, but it looks really linear, which is the expression of it just being consistent movement throughout and there's almost no flow. So we're gonna actually use the spline feature to adjust this. So we're gonna open the spline panel right here. We can expand it a bit. What you're gonna wanna do to press the air a little thing right here. We can see a graph like this. What you're gonna to wanna to do, press Control A, you're gonna press S, and this will actually adjust the points like this. So make sure to copy the graph that I'm doing right here. You're just gonna to wanna to do this, bring this one down, bring this one up, and then bring this one over. What this will do, that's pretty much the zoom in, just like that. And if we wanna do a zoom out, let's say we'll just invert the values. So we use 0.6 and 0.7. So we'll put this one as 0.6 and then we'll put the other one as 1.7. And then we just need to fix the graph here because obviously the values have changed. So we'll do this and then put this one down. So that's a zoom out. And uh, yeah, that's how you do a zoom transition completely easy, 100% free without using any sort of plugins. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete this transform because now I'm going to show you how to do a motion transition. So that's going to be any sort of uh, swipe up, down, left, right kind of thing. Um, so yeah, we're just going to get the same idea. We need these two markers again. 
So we're going to come in here. We're going to keep from the center point right here. And what we're going to want to do for this is probably change it to let's do one on this one. And then we'll come one frame back and we'll need to make it zero for the X value right here. So we have it. So it's like it's super hard to explain with words why you need to invert the values but trust me after you've been editing for a long time it eventually makes sense um, and then we'll just come 25 frames to the side right here so we'll do 79 change this back to 0.5 and then we'll come 27 so it looks really awkward but once we adjust the spline again it's actually going to be the same graph so your transition graphs are pretty much going to be the exact same so all we really need to do is just go like this and this one we go like this bring this one down and then this one is literally just going to be this and then bring this one over so it's the same principle you just bring the two points to where they almost meet at this bottom right here and that's like that you just need to mess around with it and see what you prefer um i like doing snappy transitions because i feel like they flow with my videos a lot better so that's just kind of a movement one just like that nice little swipe uh, you can do the same kind of thing by adjusting the Y values instead. And then you can also just kind of do the inverted values by changing this one to one and then this one to zero, which will allow you to do a swipe transition. Instead of swiping the video to the left, it'll swipe it to the right, which is the absolute opposite, obviously. Um, so then lastly, I'm going to show you how to do a rotate transition. This is like kind of the last main type of transitions you can make yourself using transform. Um, so what we're going to do for this is we are not at the midpoint. So I'm going to bring myself back to the midpoint. So the thing right here, this angle feature, super cool. Uh, it allows us to rotate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this value at 90. And I'm going to come one frame before and I'm going to change it to negative 90. And then I'll come 25 frames back to 27. And I'll change it to zero. I'm pretty sure yeah and then this one will have to be this will be 79 and then this one will be zero again so we can see it does a full circle just like that make sure we are on mirror for this and then for this control a s and then you'll just literally adjust the points the same way we did on a zoom in transition almost so just like this so that's how to do a rotate transition. But yeah, guys, that's actually going to do it for the video. I just showed you how to do three different types of transitions. I showed you how to do zooms, movement, and rotation. Uh, obviously, if you want to do an inverse rotation, you just swap the values around like any other transition I showcased in this video. But make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. Make sure to go check out my editing tutorials playlist if you want to see more videos like this. How to do more effects. I have tons of tutorials on those. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys in a future video on the channel. Peace out.